Hey you guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an awesome unboxing of the latest Nintendo Switch Lite, the Sazian and Sama Zenta Edition. For those that have been asking me, why haven't I done videos with the other Nintendo Switch Lite that I purchased? It's because I actually got rid of it to get this one because this is the one that I really, really wanted because of the color scheme. I really love it. It's not really because of the Sazian Sama Zenta uh, Pokemon Legendary. Uh, thing because I'm not a huge Pokemon fan but I just love the colors of this system and the way the system looks in the back as well with the Sazian and Zamazenta legendary Pokemons I think it actually looks incredible so that's why I decided to go ahead and pick this one up and I'm here to unbox it and see maybe I can show you guys a little bit of gameplay but first of all this box the art style just looks awesome look at that that looks really damn nice and every time that i see the background that nintendo always shows on the nintendo switches why they don't let us customize the background get rid of all those blocky things if we want to and just leave it like that nice and plain with a wallpaper it just looks freaking awesome when they do that but sucks that in reality the switch won't ever look like this for now you know unless it gets a huge update and we get customizable themes on the nintendo switch but there it is we got this out of the way let's go put that there and this is how cool the packaging is just like a, the, the normal nintendo switch light let's go and take this out and of course this to the side and just like the other one you got instruction manuals and of course you got the charging cable which is the same charging cable for the original nintendo switch really convenient and basically that's it so now let's go ahead and show you guys the awesome oh yes baby look at that that looks awesome i love the contrast between these buttons and the console itself uh the console itself is like a very light gray color it's not white it's not um dark gray like the other one but it is like a light gray or, or almost like silverish color and it looks really damn nice with the magenta color buttons there looks really cool the blue ones here looks really nice as well um, on the top the buttons are actually white for me it doesn't look that bright white color like the other one but they are white and the logo in the back just like the original one or just like the other light one with the Sazian and Zamazenta Pokemons there legendary it looks really nice and of course yes they are like engraved to it you can't actually feel anything any groove over that so yeah it's part of the body there really cool look at that that looks nice and of course have you seen the original light one it, nothing really changed um here in the bottom let's go ahead and put a uh, micro sd card i'm gonna put the same micro sd card that i had the other system had uh this is i think a 200 gigabyte card let me see yeah i think it is a 200 gigabyte card yeah 200 gigabyte card so i'm gonna go ahead and put it there so we can of course reformat it for this console there you go of course you got the speakers here in the bottom and let's go ahead and turn it on and there you go it would have been also nice if nintendo every time they created like an exclusive or special edition nintendo switch console would have been nice if every single one of them had like a different loading screen wouldn't that be awesome cool so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead uh, set it up just like i want it and i'm gonna come back again with the second half of the video okay so here we are back again with the second half of the video i already did update the console because when you first turn on the console and go through the setup and you connect to the internet there will be an update available for the console so just make sure you actually do that before you start using it and of course charge the console as well it did have enough battery power just like the prior one had i'm trying to install out asphalt 9 there because that's a nice racing game that i like on the nintendo switch uh i got luigi's there and the witcher those are the free third three first games i'm going to be playing here on the nintendo switch um and i already put the card you know the card that i had on the other nintendo switch and one thing to keep in mind which is something that i forgot to mention on my prior video is that 
uh, when you switch cards yes the nintendo switch has to reformat the card so all the game installs are going to be formatted and deleted they're all going to be deleted but your album your albums with the videos that you recorded on um, pictures are still going to be there so that's cool that it doesn't really format the whole card completely because you're still going to have your gameplay videos if you if you're like me that i love recording gameplay with my nintendo switch button there then share it on facebook or twitter um you know you're you're not gonna lose those videos so that's something really cool that's ori in the blind forest there which looks incredible on the nintendo switch let me go and show you guys uh, just in case you want to see it again the size difference between the original one and the big one you know the original one and the small one so there you go look at that that's the difference in size that's how different it looks the screen a little bit bigger of course than this one look at that but you know though still still the nintendo switch Lite it is actually really damn good and i think this time around i'm gonna make this one my primary console so i'm gonna be using this one on the go and using it as my primary and the other one i think is gonna stay at home but you know so far i love it i just love the way it looks i really really do love the way it looks uh, right here let's go ahead and go to the lab uh, just so I can show you guys a little bit of gameplay ah. here. Luigi so far is one of my favorite games of the year. This game is just freaking beautiful. It is freaking beautiful. Very fun. It has a great funny story. The mechanics are just, it's, it's just awesome. It's just awesome, this game. And the uh, puzzle adventure and puzzle solving in this game is just really nice and great i just love it so you know and playing this game on the go is just amazing so right here of course it's still gonna look good here on the nintendo switch Lite. and let me know in the comments if you want to see another video gameplay video being done here on the nintendo switch which is something that i'm thinking of doing another one i might upload it today or maybe early tomorrow morning but I will try to play a whole bunch of games and share with you guys again the gameplay experience on the Sazian and Zamazenta edition on the Nintendo Switch. Um, but looks really damn cool. Of course, I can't wait to the Pokemon game that's coming out on the 15th, I think, uh, which is should be awesome. I can't wait to play it. Um, and I'll, of course, share videos of Pokemon being played in this console because how am I not going to do that, right? When I just got ASEAN and the Summer Center Edition, you know, it's like I have to. So, guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this console. Did you wait for it or did you get one of the other original light consoles? The gray one, the yellow one, or the blue something, the blue teal, which is, which is like this blue, right? It's basically like this blue. So, honestly... I guess I, I don't regret getting getting rid of the gray one. I did like the way the gray one looked. Even though I don't know much about Sazian and Zamazenta, I love the design. I even love the design of the bag. It looks really damn cool. Nice, nice there. It just looks really damn nice. You know, it, this is a well-built console. You know, for on the game, oh, for gaming on the go, it's just perfect it's just perfect plus it has a a huge library now i think i'm gonna like this one more than the other one because like i said since the buttons are colored you got the magenta and you got the blue over here so these are the buttons that you normally use the most and i was scared that the white one was actually gonna get dirty or ugly so that was one of my concerns about the other light version of the consoles um and the triggers here for me i'm gonna show you a little bit I can't compare side by side uh, this white with the other triggers, but I'll show you guys here on the screen. For me, these triggers, the white is less brighter than the other white on the light version that I had before. Here, I think this time around, I did keep using white for a while, but I think I'm going to go back to black because that's how I like my theme, and it also is good for the battery as well. So guys, let me know what you think about the Sazian and Zamazenta edition of the Nintendo Switch Lite. For me, it looks awesome. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.